Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I gonna show you how to make a crispy fish with the sweet and chili sauce or Thai people call p r a l a t pig. Let's look at the ingredient. Today I have the fish. Pick your favorite fish and then the red chili, cilantro, garlic, pepper, fish sauce, salt, palm sugar, tamarind, water. Let's start cooking. Let's make our tamarind sauce first. I have the warm water and the tamarind, and just put uh, your tamarind inside the warm water. Let it sit about maybe three, just few minutes. Let the tamarind get soft, and then it's easy for us to making the sauce. Okay, let's sit on the side for now, and come back here. And now we're gonna cut our vegetable. Now I'm gonna cut the l a n c h o I'm gonna use the stem and the on the top uh, uh, separate. So I'm gonna uh, really I'm gonna chop really small for the for the c i l a n c h o I use the bell pepper just for extra flavor. I use the red jalapeno today. Um, If maybe extra hot for you, you can change. If you don't like spicy from the whole pinel, you can change to be the red pep, uh, red bell pepper. Now I'm gonna remove all the stem and remove all the seed. Now I'm gonna cut this uh, chili to very small size and then finally chop the garlic and about the fish. Um, this fish is uh, one of my favorite. The f i t is crispy and the salt is sweet and chili and the sa uh, sour from the tamarind. Okay, garlic and chili. Go in. And now I almost done with this. Okay, here all vegetable done. Now before I cut the fish, I gonna have to cut all the my palm sugar first, so gonna be easy when I cook. And now I done with all our vegetable, and I gonna uh, cut our fish now. But uh, when I buy this, I tell in the market to cut all and clean the skin for me already. All I, we have to do just for um, cut through. So when you fire, it get crispy. Not cut like this side. If you need extra crispy, you just use your knife like this and cut into it. Be careful the bone. Okay, now I done with one side. Okay, today I using the stuffed b a s t Okay, and same thing with this side. Now when I'm done cut this, I gonna put a little salt. The salt will suck all the extra water from the fish. When you um, deep fry this, so the oil not gonna getting everywhere, and also the salt will give you extra flavor for the fish. So I gonna put uh, everywhere into the this fish. Okay. Okay. For this side the fish, we take you about eight minutes for the east side for a perfect cook. Okay. Now we gonna wait for the fish and let me go wash my hand and we gonna go back for making the tamarind sauce. For making the tamarind sauce, this super easy. You just use your hand for um, mix everything. Okay. And this um, it easy to make this sauce. So just when the tamarind sauce enough in the water, you just use your hand to squeeze it, squeeze it, and try to mix them like this. And we gonna. Put in the strainer to the strain them. f o l l y move all the seed, remove all the seed and all the something we not need from the t a m a r i n The seed and the pork. Okay, we just do the sauce. So look like this. And then now been eight minutes, and then now I gonna flip to fire the other side. And look, see, oh, be careful. It's so hot. I scared. Oh. Oh, perfect! <laughs> It is perfect. Look how nice and crispy. You don't want to flip it a lot. You just have to make sure. 
um, how long you have to fry this so your feet not getting they're gonna look very nice not getting tag everywhere if you just flip it one time okay now I just wait another maybe seven minutes this this side okay and I will see you for the next step for this uh, for this side I've been cooking about seven and a half minutes now is it done let's check yes and I'm gonna sit the fit on the side and let it cool down a little bit okay I'm gonna sit on the side and we're gonna go back and make our sauce now I'm gonna making, start making the sauce putting a little bit of cooking oil okay now oil hot enough I'm gonna put the garlic and chili and I'm gonna fry them until they um, turning to the garlic turning golden brown and all the chili cook and give you a very good smell took me about three minutes for all the chili and garlic done next I'm gonna add the our cilantro stem and the yellow pepper they're gonna look so beautiful all the color you can see red yellow skin and you're gonna keep stirring this until it's ready and now take me about another two minutes for uh, stir now the tambourine sauce go in mix it well and just put it Ooh. if you want extra put it all i put it all i love this sauce so okay and now our salt is boiled i'm gonna add the time for add the sugar I use the palm sugar, you also can use the white sugar or brown sugar also but I am uh, picking the brown um, palm sugar today okay and I gonna uh, continue mix them until the sugar all dissolve now my sugar is all dissolved and I gonna add the fish sauce Okay, fish sauce go in and continue stir until the sauce getting thick, a little bit thick and we're done and try our food. Okay, now our sauce is done. So just make sure that you try your sauce. Maybe you might need more fish sauce or sugar. I already tried mine. It's perfect. And now I'm gonna plate. Okay, it's how we do. Just put your fish and pour the sauce on top much that you like okay this is the extra salt because I got liquid from the crema man he said he wanted the extra salt so all right Just here I done with the crispy fish and with the chili sweet chili salt now I gonna garnish this here we done crispy fish with the sweet and chili sauce okay now i'm gonna try my food my crispy fish oh look i love this sorry mm. Mm. love it again love love it the sour from the tamarind and sweeter from the palm sugar and chili garlic all combination is make this fish so good thank you so much for watching if you like the video if you like my recipe please give me a thumb up subscribe and you and you will see me for the next recipe thank you